Can we make Apple-like design on mid-journey? The answer is, no, we clearly can't do work like that today. This is a bad example of what you will get if you try to use an Apple website screenshot as a reference. But if you understand AI weaknesses and strengths, you can push your design further. And if you don't dive into modern AI instruments, you risk slowing down and losing competition with those who do. So how can AI improve your design skills? Here are three things to help you out. First thing, sketching ideas. Fast sketching in mid-journey is a great opportunity to save a lot of time. When brainstorming ideas for new design tasks, try to prompt all your ideas. If you try to use generalized or short prompts like this, the result will be bad or too generic. Usually, using just trendy surface solutions by using terms like beautiful or awesome will give you an attractive image at first glance, but it's usually useless for real-world issues. We usually try to find something deeper and more solid. It's easy to explain, most design isn't that original, and AI is fed by a lot of different designs. The less details you provide, the less original the result will be. So, try to be as specific as possible. Use style, colors, illustration type, niche of client, and what you want to see on the illustration in your prompt. This will help you use AI not for generating ideas where it's pretty bad, but for testing your own ideas. For example, we just changed the prompt a little bit and got a sketch of possible styles, which helps us understand if the idea will look great for the task or not. Are we able to add something original, or does the style look pretty generic? Of course, most of the compositions don't make sense and you'll need to make something completely new, even if you decide to base it on one of these variants. And the illustrations don't make sense either, but this is the second important way that AI tools like Midjourney can save you time. Second tip, generating useful, ready-to-work illustrations and icons. Illustrations and icons are the superpower of Midjourney, and we use them in every work we do. But, of course, it usually needs to be cleared and polished after generation. For example, we needed to stylize a plastic 3D illustration for a fintech company as a scammer caution block. And we had a lot of options. The best part is, we can use the same parts of the prompt, which describe the style and colors, and make more things in the same style that can be used together on one page. Of course, AI doesn't generate the exact same red and black colors, so we need to refine it a bit, but otherwise, it's ready to use straight out of mid-journey. Here's a little trick. If you make a generalized prompt like 3D icon of a sneaker with high stylized setting and generate it a few times and find a good style, try to decompose the result you like. Try to make a new, detailed prompt based on this icon. For example, minimalistic 3D icon of a sneaker, pastel colors, white background, matte plastic and edit it until you get a close result, and then just change the central word. Replace sneaker with, for example, headphones to get a similar result. Before we move on to the third thing, let's go back to the first part. I said that Midjourney can't do acceptable web design yet, and I have an answer as to why and why I think it won't be able to in the near future. We will need special AI that can understand the one main rule of design that separates good design from bad design. It's the same for human designers, even designers with a few years of experience don't always know the main rule, the rule of proximity. And understanding this rule deeply can drastically improve the quality of your work. It's all about the proximity rule, the main rule of design. And this is the third thing, don't just use generated results if they don't follow the main rules of design and composition, especially the rule of proximity. It's the most important rule in design, and without it, any tips and lessons are pointless. Check out our video on how you can level up your work with this simple rule. It's a game changer.